If you follow today's tutorial, you'll learn how to design this flat illustration in just a few steps using Adobe Illustrator. How's it going designer? So I was browsing Dribbble when I saw this illustration done by Ada Vishneva. She's an illustrator from Chisinau, Moldova, right next to me. Well, like a 12 hour drive away from me, but sure next to me. I really like her style, so I wanted to do a quick exercise to study her illustration style and actually teach you guys how to do it in the process. Make sure to follow Ada as she has some really cool illustrations on Dribbble. Let's jump into Illustrator and actually start working on this illustration. I got the reference on the left hand side. You can see Ada's handle on Dribbble right over here. And then I got some images of the character I'm going to draw. That's the first tip for today if you want to find inspiration of different poses or different models you can check out fashion sites where you can find different clothes or different models to use as reference the first thing that i noticed with Ida style is actually the fact that she's using these stroked outlines to actually have different types of elements and she does have some texture for all of these elements so i'm guessing i'm going to add something like that through a stroked outline that's texture and of course i'm going to do a couple of variations versus this design just to try some things out the character face i'm actually going to use this one for reference and the pose I'm actually going to go with this one. So let's define a quick color palette. I'm going to use three colors. So let's start with this one. I'm going to sample this red and probably create a variation of it. Maybe have something a bit more saturated like this. Then for the second one, I'm going to use this blue as reference, but again, double click. Let's add more saturation to it and change it to a lighter shade of blue. Let's make another copy. Now I'm going to use this yellow as reference, double click to get inside it and actually bring it closer to yellow. Hit OK. And this is the color palette I'm going to work with. Let's start with the face. Switch to the eyedropper tool because we're going to use this red as the main color for it. And with the pen tool, I'm going to start drawing a simple shape. Make it a bit longer just because we're going to mask it with the hair. Move it down a bit. Let's create a neck afterwards. Have a bit of a dip over here and then close it up. Right here, this is a bit too narrow. So switch to the direct selection tool and actually make adjustments to the curve. And for the pose, I actually want her shoulder picked up a bit. So I want it to be at an angle. Try to bring it like this. And then here, place another shape and close it off. This is pretty dynamic. I'm going to start working with this. Actually, I'm going to do a couple small adjustments. Once you're going to add some of the details, this will make a lot more sense. <laughs> we actually have the base and with the pen tool, I'm going to actually create an ear as well. Ada as well has some big ears. For the hair, you'll have the first element come through this, the first wave in the hair. Let's sample the color of this one, then continue and create another one on this side. We have some kind of symmetry. I'm going to create the first version of the hair over here but then i'm going to make adjustments because i'm sure that it's pretty hard to nail it from the first time let's close this off arrange center back and i would like to push a bit these waves over here so start again from the top i'm going to draw another shape this time around i'm going to try to push these waves a bit more than what we have right now maybe start from down below make a couple of waves close these off let's arrange send it to the back and now delete the one that we have previously with a selector now select the smooth tool and this usually helps to create more interesting curves instead of having something that looks pretty stock now that i look at it her face is a bit too big so i'm going to make it smaller actually bring this forward for the face i'm actually going to make a couple of adjustments she's a bit too skewed so i'm going to make it a bit straighter now what i want to do is actually have a blob behind everything so i'm going to create a background let's use this color for the background and use actually the curvature tool start from over here place a couple of points and all of the curves will be made automatically let's have something that goes behind the model and send it behind and now with both of these selected i'm holding down shift i'm switching to the shape builder tool which is over here and while holding down option or alt i'm going to subtract this shape i want to have her hair going on top so i'm going to create a random shape over here similar to what this model has switch to the eyedropper tool actually sample that color rotate it a bit now it's time to add some details I'm going to zoom in on the face and actually start with the eyebrows. Usually Ada has really large eyebrows, so I'm going to try to follow that style as well. Let's start with the one on the right hand side. I'm actually going to try to select all of these points and round them up with the direct selection tool. Let's sample this color because I want it to blend in. Same thing on the other side as well. Make a change and then round them up a bit. These are a bit too straight. 
so similar to what Ada has. I'm going to point them down a bit just to just to have a different expression. Because I want her to look on the left hand side, I'm going to move the eyebrows. For the eyes, I'm going to use the ellipse tool and actually create a couple of ellipses. Sample the same color. Let's add it here. She already looks kind of mad, <laughs> so <laughs> keep that in mind. One thing she does is with the nose, you can actually see it has this shape that's actually a stroked outline. So I'm going to do just that. With this selected, I'm going to switch to the pen tool and start from over here, create something in the middle, and then something that goes over. Let's switch. So now the outline will have this color and also make it a bit bigger because one point is too small. Three points is fine. Go to the stroke panel, actually make a rounded cap and a rounded corner. <laughs> she's super mad. Uh, I'm going to actually change this because she's way too mad on the whole situation. So I'm going to change it up. Uh, this looks a bit better. And maybe if I put in a smile, that will help. Let's take the curvature tool and do something for the mouth. A small smile. I actually like it if it's just a few. But actually, let's sample this stroke because I want to have the same thing going for the ear. I'm going to do something similar. Let's do the earlobe and then something that goes along with the ear. Ada uses a darker shade for the actual texturing and shadow parts. So I'm going to try to do just that. My character looks a bit weird right now, but uh, have some patience. I think it's going to get better. So with the pen tool, I'm actually going to start from over here and create this first shape. Let's sample with the eyedropper tool the red and then double click to go inside it and actually change it to a darker shade. Let's move it behind by using command left bracket or control left bracket. Do the same thing over here as well. Close it down. Again, select it, send it behind everything. And now I'm going to want to have some rounded circles over here create the first one and the second one over here for this one i'm going to make it bigger if you want to cut it again hold down shift select both of these elements with the shape builder tool actually hold down option or alt get rid of it previously i was duplicating the one behind because i didn't know how uh, this tool worked but now i know for the mouth i'm going to do a, something a bit different so i'm going to use that color actually create shape that looks like some lips but of course have it oriented like so and then let's send this behind everything same thing over here i'm going to try to follow along with the head actually go like this and create a shape that looks like that just because i'm going to use the shape builder tool i'm using shift m to actually switch to it and remove this one and this would give you a bit of a shadow over here the last part that's missing is actually a bit of a shadow for the ear so i'm going to follow along with these actual lines send it behind i would like to add some clothes to the character so i'm thinking something like this where you can see the shoulders but it goes over so i'm going to do just that using the pen tool i'm going to create a shape let's play around with the orientation over here and this will actually be white now that i look at it this is a bit of an extreme angle so i'm going to switch to the direct selection tool and actually make some adjustments this needs to face down maybe simplify this so i'm going to draw a shape on top of it with both of them selected hit shift them and get rid of these two with the yellow i'm actually going to try to have kind of like a necklace so let's start from here have it go like this and then try to have it curved as well because i would like to create something in the background as well with the white selected i'm actually going to create a shape that goes behind it and send it behind the neck let's make this smaller because this is kind of like the biggest necklace i ever saw <laughs> so i'm going to make it a bit smaller and this means that i need to bring this down a bit Again, with the direct selection tool, I'm going to make adjustments, bring it down, make sure that you mask that part, and the same thing with this one. Let's add a couple of details here on the shoulders as well. So I'm going to duplicate the shape and actually scale it up a bit. Let's make it go over just because I would like for it to be clipped, rotate it around to follow along the direction of the shoulders, select both of them, and then the shape below it, hit shift them, and actually get rid of these elements. This smile is a bit at an angle, so I'm going Going to make a change select it and then rotate it a bit bring it closer to the nose when i look at ada's illustration i can see that she has a couple of hair strains on top so i'm going to try to do just that actually after sampling this shape i'm going to try to create one over here that follows along with the hair maybe close it off like this make sure that it doesn't stick out so maybe just adjust it with the direct selection tool to go inside and something on the other side as well start from over here and then have a curve that ends like this one last detail that i want to do is actually create an earring so i'm going to use this stroke outline to develop one with a lips tool i would like it for it to actually be this color so i'm going to sample it and 
then switch it up make it three points the way it was previously now i'm going to have to make some adjustments because i want this to be a bit of, at an angle it was straight down so that didn't look right now with the pen tool i'm actually going to add a couple of points because i would like for it to be masked at one point here at one point where this ends and with the direct selection tool i've selected this point and hit backspace go to the stroke panel do the same adjustments as before and i would also like to have an element inside something that looks like a heart so let's try and do something that looks like that to add some texture one thing you can do is actually use a predefined brush so for example when you're going to select this element make sure to have the same color applied to the outline and from over here you can select the charcoal pencil stroke make it two points but the issue right now is that this isn't the same color right so you have the texture but it isn't the same color so one thing you could do is actually select it go to object hit expand appearance and now you have both of them selected and with the eyedropper tool sample the color again and that will blend everything in if you want to select multiple ones for example let's do these ones make sure to have the same color applied go charcoal make it two points to have some extra texture go to object expand appearance and now sample this color so now you have the same color applied on the illustration i'm going to do the same for the remaining of the elements if you want to apply this texture on these elements as well make sure to select them object expand hit ok and now you can select the remaining ones apply the same color make sure to have the charcoal brush make it two points hit object expand and then sample this color this is the final look of the illustration thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to like it and subscribe for more see you next week with another one take care everybody bye